Hi, welcome to Words of Wisdom. I'm Diane Franco Carmelis, the Student Wellness Counselor here at the School of Public Health. My story today, the cookie story. A woman was getting ready to go to the airport and board a flight, and she realized that it was going to be a little late, so she thought, let me grab a magazine, and oh, she remembered that favorite bakery had the best cookies. So she gets the cookies in a magazine and she goes to security. And on the other side, it's really full, lots of people. And she does find a place to sit. So she sits down, she settles in, knowing it'll be a little bit of a wait. She starts to read her magazine and she turns to the side table and grabs a cookie and starts to eat the cookie. Oh, they were as good as she remembered. Mm. As she's eating the cookie and reading the magazine, she sees out of the corner of her eye that the gentleman next to her goes and grabs a cookie and starts eating the cookie. She cannot believe it. Oh my goodness, who would do that? But there's so many people, there's, she didn't know what to say. She didn't want to cause a scene. She just kind of let it go. She thought, okay, I'm just gonna let it be. So a little upset. As she's reading her magazine, she goes in and grabs another cookie and he goes and grabs another cookie. She's thinking, who's, what a cookie thief. I can't believe it, well, how rude, who would do this? But again, so many people around and it took her kind of off guard. So she didn't know what to do and she didn't want to cause a scene. And there was only one cookie left in the bag anyway. So she thought, okay. As she's reading her magazine, she thinks I better go grab that cookie. As she's going to get the cookie, he goes in the bag and takes the last cookie. She's thinking, oh, I cannot believe what is happening. He takes the cookie and breaks it in half and goes to hand her half the cookie. At that time, she's being, right now, being called for her flight. So she's thrilled. She's getting called for her flight. But in the meantime, she's still very upset and angry. She grabs the cookie. She grabs the empty bag, crumples it up, throws it down, muttering underneath her breath, cannot believe it, grabs her things and boards the plane. Doesn't even look back. She gets on the plane. She's already settling in, still really upset. Upset with herself that she didn't say anything, but also upset that something like this would happen. How, who is this person? How dare they? But she figures, okay, I'm on the plane. I'm just going to chill out now. I'm going to finish reading my magazine. She goes to her bag to grab the magazine, and there's her cookies. She was eating his cookies. I even shared the last cookie with her. Oh. So besides feeling awful and terrible, there are a few lessons to this. The one I want to focus on today is about being aware, about being present. So when I think about mindfulness, I know a lot of people think it's about sitting still for a certain amount of time. But to me, mindfulness is about being present where you are, being aware of the things around you. How many times have you misplaced something? Maybe you lost your keys and you swear they were on the table. Somebody must have taken them. And then you find them later in your pocket. Or maybe mon money. Maybe you thought, where is that $5 bill I had in my pocket? Thinking, what happened to it? Somebody must have taken it. And then you find it later, right where you left it. It's about being present of our surroundings, about being aware of the things that are going on. So here's some things to think about. When was the last time you weren't aware of something? What's your story? And how can you be better aware, more present? Be here now. Let me know. I hope you have a great day. See you again.